guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and I'm here at Laycock Abbey. Um, I'm going to introduce you to some of the Harry Potter places that were used in the films, places that were used in the films. And uh, if you come here, there's, they used it in like, I think it was six of the Harry Potter films and some of the Fantastic Beasts films as well. So come with me as I have a lovely walk around. This place is stunning. I am in Laycock. I am all equipped out. All equipped out. I just had lunch at these really cute little tea rooms. No word of a lie, that was the best cheese and ham toasty I've ever had in my life. I've been praying for a warm day and a dry day, and I have it, but I'm also wearing a very, very wool cardigan, so it's making everything very warm. Hello. Oh, look at this village. I'm going the wrong area. Lake Oak Abbey is behind me, but I want to show you how beautiful this village is. And remember that these are people's homes, so please be respectful. I know Adam would have really enjoyed this, but he's working today, so he can't come with me. But just look at all that. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's just such a stunning building. I'm glad I came today because I think if I'd have come like in a weekend, I think it would have been really busy. So I'm really, really glad that I came today. There's a National, there's a National Trust shop there, which apparently has got some Harry Potter things in, so I may have to have a look afterwards. But maybe I'll put my, um, my bag back in the car before I go in. Oh my God, look how beautiful that little shop is. That's stunning. This place is beautiful. Everyone's taking pictures. Apparently, the majority of this village is owned by the National Trust, so they do try and keep it as uh, authentic as, they, as it was years ago. So, but this house here reminded me of the Potter house later on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Because I came up from this way. It's such a stunning place. It is an actual house. It is somebody's building. So again, please be respectful if you come and visit. But this is so beautiful. Now the original Potter's house is here, but I'm not sure where, as in the one when Harry is telling, when um, Hagrid is telling Harry about what happened to his parents and they see somebody in a cloak going into the house, that is in Laycock. I'm not quite sure where, but the people who live in the house now don't really want it being seen so they've tried to grow like tall trees and things to keep us keep it private so i think it's best if i don't go and find it because you know me i do try and be respectful even when i was invited to uh, to fall the real full project private drive i was still respectful so i'm going to go back up now and go to laycock abbey so excited so i have just met lisa um i have been told that i have the run of the place so that's really lovely they've just double checked with everybody my contact who i contacted before um abby davis thank you so much for, for your, your message my lovely and um yeah this place is outstanding so i'm heading this way which is the main entrance this looks very much downton abbey ish maybe because I know they filmed some of Downton Abbey here. They also filmed other films here, like obviously Fantastic Beasts as well. But look at the grounds. Oh, my life. I have a filming leaflet in my bag, so I'm going to go and look at that now once I've uh, established certain places. But this is amazing. Please remember, though, to be respectful when you do come. This is a National Trust area, and also people live here, so please be respectful and... Uh, and remember to be kind and gentle to the environment. So, oh wow, look at that. That is crazy, look at that building. That is so stunning. It's weird, my English accent has really properly come out this time, which is so odd. Um, <laughs> it always happens, but I am from around here, so I must, uh, it must just be plucked out of me oh my god okay are you ready are you ready are you steady can you see what i can see <laughs> oh, wow okay we're ready oh my god oh my god just look at this that is just amazing. Harry Potter, eat your heart out. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have fun today.
as much as I love this trolley, having a trolley, it is still very heavy with all the equipment in it. So, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, look at this. The Harry Potter films at Laycock. Look at that. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at these rooms. The echo is incredible. Can you imagine singing in here? How beautiful it would sound because of the acoustics. That is amazing. Wow. This is just to die for and this is just the first part. Oh my God. Okay, I think I need to give credit to anybody who recognizes this room because I think I recognize it. Not 100% sure. But, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Nope, Secrets of Dumbledore. Nope, <laughs> The Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm pretty sure this was where Lita Lestrange's desk was. If you remember, was it in here? And also, isn't this also where they show the cursed opal necklace in Half-Blood Prince to Professor Dumbledore because the three of them are stood here why is it always you three the three of them are stood here look at my look at my knuckles and um and you see is it walking from this side or is it this side where you see professor snape i'm pretty sure it's that side isn't it and he comes down the steps and professor mcgonagall's desk is here with the cursed opal necklace on how amazing in this building this is just amazing absolutely incredible I mean look at it look at this room oh, I'm sure it's here they're stood here and you see Professor Snape walking past there I'm sure it is <laughs> I'm just saying this I'm not in my robes or anything yet I need to cool down first I am really warm um, maybe this is also another reason why I shouldn't look because of the size of that web <laughs> It is a dirty web, so chances are whatever lives there is not there now. And they don't like dirty webs, but this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I just want to walk around here and just take it all in. I haven't watched the films for a while, so like my memory of it is a little bit sketchy, but The Half-Blood Prince is my favorite Harry Potter film. So, I can hear Harry Potter music. <laughs> I just heard some of his Harry Potter ringtone. That is so brilliant. My God, this is amazing. Right, we're going to walk around all the way around and we're going to see what else is here. Honestly, I've got to bring the boys here. There's an entrance there. Book cupboard. Oh, I love a book cupboard. Right, warming house. Oh my god, are they, they like coffiny things? Oh, I've just seen. Oh no, you can't go in there. No. Okay, so this is. Um, I'm going to put my trolley down because I'm going to show you. Hopefully, it will stay there because it's a bit wobbly at the moment because it's so heavy. But this is the room where Harry had the mirror of Erised. This was where you see Harry visit the room of Erised and the mirror of Erised is actually there. So Harry comes through that door and Dumbledore suddenly appears there. Um, this cauldron has been put here in like a, almost like a memorial of it because I think this was also meant to be... Okay, so the, it says here um, that it was actually, it's dating back to the 1500s, that cauldron. It um, doesn't say anything about the Harry Potter films here, but I will look at the leaflet afterwards because I'm going to go and sit down somewhere while I'm here and take it all in. So we've got, so the mirror of Erised was in this corner here. Harry came through there and obviously sat on the floor there. Obviously the floor probably looked a bit different um, back then. Um, and then Dumbledore in the second time he goes, or well, third time, because obviously the second time he's with Ron, and then the third time then you see Dumbledore kind of magically appear from behind this pillar. So that is where the mirror of Erised was. This is beautiful. I cannot get over this. 
So I will do a few videos. I'm just showing you around at the moment. And um, this will be obviously the video that uh, of me documenting everything in Laycock. Can't get over that bit. It's so cool. This is so beautiful. The light that comes through here is incredible. Look at how bright it is. The ceiling is just outstanding. The history of this place is just amazing. You've also got like um, a memorial on the wall here. It's very hard to see. I bet the light's probably playing havoc with it as well as in the sunlight. Look at this. Beautiful. I tell you something, I am so warm. Let's have a look at that. This is the courtyard apparently where Downton Abbey was filmed. So we will have a little walk around there later. It's very, this, the layout seems to remind me of St. Fagans in Cardiff. Um, not as ornate and old, but does remind me of that sort of layout back there. And it shows you here all the places as well. Although you've got the reflection of the window there, so. Oh, wow, sorry, thank you. Look at this. Wow, oh my goodness, can you imagine all these like books, Harry Potter books? That'd be so cool. I used to have a little window sill like this when I was little. We lived in a really old house, it was like 16th century. It used to be a pub and my window was really deep in my house. It was solid, so it kind of was solid here. But, uh, and it came out like that. And I just sat there for hours on the windowsill. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Very Downton. <laughs> How beautiful is this that people actually get to visit Oh my God, I'd have a room full of this. I would, I love the smell. The smell is so bookish. Oh, look at that chair. God, this place is massive. It is absolutely huge. I never thought it was like this. This is so amazing. And this is what I love about places like this is it's, Yes, okay, you've got the Harry Potter people coming and wanting to visit and so on. But there is so much more to it than the Harry Potter story. I mean, look at these books. I would just have all of them and take them home. I would just take the, I'd take the book, bookcase home. I would take everything home. Let's have a look, see what books are on here. Ancient Pottery and Porcelain. How cool is that? This is just, so, look at these books. They look so beautiful. And you think in Dumbledore's office, all of the books that looked like these ones, they were phone directories to make them look like books. And they were all individually painted and decorated, but they were telephone directories. Look at those ones down here. How crazy are those? Good God. Okay, I'll have one of everything, please. I would have every single book on these shelves. They look beautiful. Look at that door. So stunning. Hello. Wow. <laughs> this is just so beautiful. I can't get over how amazing this place is. What's that box? That looks, it's, is it some sort of like a medicine cabinet or something? Oh, yeah, no, it's got shelves in it. It would have just kept, you know, curiosities in there. That's stunning. Mm -hmm. It's black lacquer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that a camera? 
Yeah. It's, it's not an original, it's just to show them the photographs of what it would have looked like when Fox Tolbert had this as a study. Oh, oh, look at that, that, that atlas. <laughs> it's just, I want one of everything. <laughs> It's, I love the book, I love the smell. I'm from yeah. like, my, my, I lived in a house that was like 16th century when I was younger and it, this is what it was like. The smell was amazing. Natural fires and all that sort of thing. It was just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful atlas. It's so Dumbledore, isn't it? Oh, so incredibly stunning. <sighs> Love this. <sighs> okay, we're going down some more steps. Oh my good God. Look at this. Janice, when you come, you will be wanting to order everything. You will be saying, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you will want it. Oh, look at that chandelier. Look at it, just look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Hello again. <laughs> You're moving well. <laughs> we used to have one like this. My mum actually stitched it. No, no, tell a lie, my great grandmother stitched it. I've get confused by those two and it was a beautiful lady in a garden and she she stitched it all by hand and then there was glass put over the front of it and we used it for years but unfortunately my father decided he was going to get rid of it so I kind of wish he hadn't because it was so beautiful I think that is a bit big to put on my potion shelf but I would try isn't that stunning it's like it's multi layers that's really pretty bit of umbrage inspired there I think gorgeous windows we used to have lovely bay windows in the house it goes back so far you imagine that they would walk when the weather was bad they would take their dogs for a walk around here and just walk around the um oh look at that door how beautiful is that they would walk around the perimeter taking a turn after dinner maybe hello gosh this is stunning It's so bright. Oh my goodness, look at those lamps. Oh, Janice, you would kill for those. Look at those. They are beautiful. Such a stunning decorative room. Look at those candle um, candelabras. Look at those. Just beautiful. It's very bright and cheerful. Oh, look at this room. Oh my goodness. Oh my life, that is incredible. Wow. It is a serious wow moment. Right, I'm going to have a walk around again, I think. Yes, yes, do. <laughs> Make the most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like a princess <laughs> coming out <laughs> to meet my prince. Look at this. This is where we were, this is where we started, coming up here. We walked all the way around to there. So we're gonna go back there again in a minute, um, but I'm gonna get a tissue because my nose is starting to run. I've been given a leaflet that points out everything. There is another lady, I think it's Lisa. I'm really sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, if I need anything, obviously I'm gonna let her know. But everybody inside has been really helpful. But what I wanna prove, what I wanna show in this video is yes, it's Harry Potter filming locations, but I also wanna show that it's not just Harry Potter and it's like open for everybody so there's places for children to go they're doing the most amazing work restoring everything here the place is incredible i know janice and maria would kill to come here i know you really would love this even adam would really enjoy it. i think even harry would as well so it's definitely worth the trip it's i think 15 pound entry and you can here be here all day so i'm here as long as i can be really and um and yeah just take it all in so I'm gonna start with this i'm gonna have a good read i'm just sat chilling at the moment um just taking all of this in really because it's just 
it's just so beautiful and I've come at the right time because I love autumn so I love all the colours the leaves are still very much on the trees but they're starting to change and so it's just really really pretty so I'm going to go into the bathroom in a minute and um, I'm going to use facilities and then I'm going to get changed into some robes and start doing some filming um, because there is a few people here so I want to try and do it without like you know last time I had a crowd of people filming me while I was filming so I, I try and avoid that this time as best I can but this is so beautiful I love it so much I love this staircase it's very kind of it reminds me of um, Princess Diaries 2 when she comes out the castle and it looks like this this reminds me of Pride and Prejudice so I'm not sure if they've actually used I think they did say what they used it in and um, it could have been Pride and Prejudice actually so I know that's been filmed here the original with um, Oh, I can't remember the BBC t the BBC film. Me and my mum were obsessed with it. I think it was four parts with Mr. Darcy, uh, so I uh, absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm gonna have a wander around in a bit and uh, catch it, take it all in, and just enjoy it. Just coming up to one of the locations, and uh, I just seen this. Look at this. Isn't that wicked? You can see it there. That this was in the Half Blood Prince. They walked up this street. How amazing is that? This is so cool. It's my favourite film as well. <laughs> this is just so amazing. So the entrance to Bubbly Babbaton would have been where you go down High Street by the looks of it. Oh wow, look at this. So I am looking for number five and six up here. You can't really see it very well because the sun's going down now. But it's something to do with the angel. The angel. So this was... Sign of the Angel, backdrop in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It's such a pretty village. Look at that building. How beautiful is that? I don't remember it though. That's the problem. I'm, I need to kind of, even though it's like my favorite film, I don't know if you can go in there to have a look. Welcome to the Sign of the Angel. All the way down here is more Harry Potter, so we're gonna be nosy and have a look. Right, so number nine's right down the bottom of this street. That was Harry Potter as well. That's the road I could have come down, but it looked incredibly tight, so I thought I'd best drive the other way around. Look at how beautiful is that street. It's beautiful here. See all these muggle cars. Wiltshire Craft, the hunting lodge. I wish they had the businesses on here because that would be really lovely to see what else is, is in this village, not just Harry Potter. Locally designed and handcrafted. Ooh, posh. Right, okay, so we're coming down to the end of this road. We've got down to Abbey Church, then Harry Potter's parents' house and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I think that's the house right in front of me. Oh God, this is so weird. Anyone else feel this weird? It's so weird. So pretty. Jewelry studio, John Watling. You know me and my sparkle. I love my sparkle. Look at that church. How beautiful is that? Using Downton Abbey, apparently, according to this little map. Okay, I think I can see Harry's uh, parents' house. This is awfully strange. <laughs> my nose is running now. So this is Harry Potter's parents' house. You guys remember it look at these colors look at that that is beautiful it is a residence so please be respectful this is somebody's house so how amazing is that just the colors alone they're stunning look at it it's so pretty but remember, I know I keep saying it, but please be respectful when you come to these places because this is somebody's home, okay? Just imagine in the night when, uh, I'd say Snape, when Lord Voldemort goes through the gate and walks towards the door. So bye-bye Mr. Potter's, Mr. and Mrs. Potter's house. So now we were going back up the path to Horace Slughorn's Horace Slughorn's house in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince well it wasn't his house he stole it temporarily didn't he because the owners of the house were in the Canary Islands coming up to Slughorn's house I drove past it and didn't even realize oh my god okay you ready <laughs> my favorite film now Professor Slughorn's one of my favorite characters because he's just so ridiculous are you ready this is somebody's house be respectful are you ready are you ready you ready you ready Oh my god, 
side of Ferris Lockhart's house. This is so cool. I really wish the gate wasn't, I, I, don't, I worry that this is like caused by people who are coming, so I do kind of worry, but this is mad. This is crazy. Welcome to the charming village of Bubbly Babbaton. The people who own this house are in the Canary Islands. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is just the best thing ever. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I've been here. This is so amazing. Well, that's it. I have, uh, I've gone to, I've gone to the, all the locations in Bubbly Babbaton, <laughs> Lake Oak Abbey. It's so pretty here. It's like an all day place because not only have you got the Harry Potter locations, you've got Downton Abbey, you've got so much, you've got Pride and Prejudice. You've also got some beautiful shops with so many handmade crafts and things here. So it is proper, an all day place. So if you're gonna come here, come all day, because I'm definitely bringing Janice and Maria here when they come down next, because I think it's so beautiful. It is just so pretty, I mean, look. It's so adorable. But again, people live here, so be respectful. And I know I'm saying that a lot, but you know how much I try and drop it into you guys, be respectful. Um, the last thing I want is for people to come to a place like this and be disrespectful and it's just, it's devastating. So this place deserves to be looked after and kept, cl kept clean, kept safe at all times. Now there was a memorial when Harry and Professor, Slug, when Pro and Professor Dumbledore arrived. I don't think it was there. I think by the looks of the photographs it was up by Main Street, so we're going to have a little look there because it doesn't say on the map because obviously it wasn't a real memorial. So we're going to have a little nose. But this is definitely an all day visit. And the only place you have to pay is the Abbey, and that's completely understandable. Obviously, you could, there's loads of places to come for food. The Sign of the Angels is a restaurant, and it is also a hotel as well. So you can also stay there. There's five on suite, through, on suite rooms, which I think is lovely. But I mean, I do it all in a day, I would. So I've come home today. And there's also a chocolate, the chocolate barn. I'm not going in there, handmade chocolate. I'm not going in it because knowing me, <laughs> I'll buy half the stock. And I really don't want to do that to myself. So I'm on Slow and Wild and being a good girl. So maybe when I come with Janice and Maria and Natalie, I will then do it. But at the moment, I'm being a good girl. I'm not buying chocolate. I did have a chocolate brownie in the cafe, but don't tell anybody. This is so like Cheveley. And I mean, it's not far from here. Cheveley's not far from here where I come from. So it's just the way the houses are and the walls and things. It's very Cheveley. So the only other thing I can think of is that the memorial was there, but I'm going to have to watch it, rewatch it to check. Because I recognize that, but then I also think that it could be there. So I'll watch the film and um, I'll know where it was then. So yeah, what a beautiful little village. I'm on my way home now. Yay! <laughs> I'm tired. Look at his doggy. Look at his doggy. Yo! Look at that doggy. He's so cute. Doesn't look bothered. I'm talking to him, he doesn't want to know. Right, and there's the little school. It's so tiny. I love it. It's like Whitland is so tiny. So that's it. I'm on my way home. Oh, it's been a good day, really good day. I hope I got some good footage. And it's already uploaded on my laptop. That's the brilliant thing about having my laptop is I can upload it straight away. Oh, right, see you back at home. Oh my life, that was amazing. Oh my God. And I know that I have come here for the Harry Potter filming locations, but there's so much more to Lake Oak Abbey. And it's not just the Abbey, it's the village as well. So you guys have got to come down. It's 15 pound entry. And honestly, that 15 pound is so worth it. And I also went to the cafe for lunch and the prices are so good. I'm actually going back there now to upload stuff to my laptop because it's not closed for another couple of hours. So you guys have got to come down. It is beautiful. It's fantastic. I'm having the best time ever. They've been so accommodating, giving me full reign of the place as well, which is like crazy. But I was in talks with them before I came down. So they knew I was coming. I didn't want to just kind of, you know, jump in and say, hi, can I do this? And then they'd be like, no. <laughs> 
they've been really really accommodating and so kind so thank you very much Laycock Abbey for accommodating me today I have had the best time I got so excited coming here because this is like a dream come true for me this is for any Harry Potter Pride and Prejudice uh, Downton Abbey fans so many more places so many more things that were filmed here honestly you will be so shocked but uh, again thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you real soon my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe